I, I just feel like we need to stop blaming other other races for our actions and focus on us because at the end of the day, bro, everything is a personal choice. I don't care what nobody say. The white men ain't making you do anything. The only thing we all got to do is pay taxes. That's the only thing we all got to do. It's not just black people got to pay taxes. No, 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 no. We all got to pay taxes. The more you make, the more they take. That That's for everybody. That's for every single race. It doesn't matter what race you are. Uh, if we were both owning houses in a similar neighborhood and I tried to sell my house and you tried to sell your house, my house would statistically be valued higher than yours. That's a theory. Because I have lighter skin than you. What house do you live because in? Because I have lighter skin than you. According to who? I'm, I'm sorry? According to who? I, I, the skin color or? If, so if you, if, you had, if you were working at a bank and you were giving out loans, would you give out a loan to a white man and not a black man? That's what redlining is, you donuts. Just called that man a donut. Oh my gosh, how corny. What color, what, what's your race? I'm biracial. <laughs> That's real funny. That's real funny. What does that mean? You just said that, you're, that your okay. son is biracial. What's your, what's your mix? I'm Hispanic. And what? And white. Okay, so you, you go by white? I go by mixed. So why is Obama black then? Well, I mean, I'm also Hispanic. I'm white and Hispanic. There's multitudes. But you're mixed. You're not just Hispanic. Let, let, let's get back to the. Would issue. you be the first Hispanic, whatever? Uh, I mean, if you want, what, if you feel like it. Whatsoever. So, are you Hispanic? C can we get back to the? No, no. Will you qualify for a minority benefits? So you said that the United. Would States... Would you qualify for minority benefits? So you no, because I'm not. I, 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 no. Why not? Okay, so You're Hispanic. So you said that the United States okay. is not a racist country. However, the dominant social order imposes that white has to be pure, which you acknowledge comes from the United States. But, you are perpetuating that, not me. Which is not a, which, but we're not a racist country, like you said. Do you believe there's things in this country you can do that I can't do? Yes. Name it. Um, statistically, if... No, 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 no. Stati you can do that I can't do. Oh, well, then nothing. However, we kind of are dealing with lots of numbers and people. Uh, if we were both owning houses in a similar neighborhood and I tried to sell my house and you tried to sell your house, my house would statistically be valued higher than yours. That's a theory. Because I have lighter skin than you. What house do you live because in? Because I have lighter skin than you. How big is your house? I don't. I'm sorry? How big is your house? I have no comments on that. That's not important. That's a non sequitur. It's not. Is your house bigger than mine? If we had similar houses in a similar neighborhood and we both tried to sell our houses, statistically, my house would be valued higher than yours because you have darker skin than me. According to who? I'm, I'm sorry. According to who? Uh, I, the skin color, or if you, so, if you if you had if you were working at a bank and you were giving bro, this is so hard to watch. It, it really is. I don't like you're literally talking to me face to face, telling me that because you really was finna just say that it's a lot of things you can do that I can't do in this country. I tell people this all the time, bro. There is nothing that you can do that I can't do. Anything you can do, I know I can do. I'm not gonna sit here and say I can't do certain things because I'm black. That's just, I don't understand why people say that. Why, like, how can you just talk down on yourself like that? Like, as a black person, I don't, like, it's a lot of black people that I have talked to that will be like, well, why people could do this and why people could do that, but we can't do that much because we're black. I don't understand how you sit there and you just let that sink in your mind. You, you let that sink in your mind because the Bible tells us that power and death lies in the power of the tongue. So what you speak, you're manifesting over your freaking life. I can't sit there and manifest out my mouth and say, oh yeah, I can't do this and I can't do that because the color of my skin. Like, make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Giving out loans, would you give out a loan to a white man and not a black man? That's what redlining is, you donuts. All right, let me explain redlining. Let me explain redlining for you guys. I was trying to make a point there. It was kind of comical. However, let me, this is a really good book for you to read as well. Thomas Sowell wrote a book called Discrimination and Disparities, right? Just because there's disparity don't necessarily mean that there's discrimination. I can go down the list. Do you think that school districts are discriminating against men? No, they're not. Women just decide to work in schools more so than men do. Do you think that the NFL is discriminating against white men? No, it isn't. It just so happened that black people athleticism 
plays a role in black people playing in sports in the NFL. That does not mean because there's a disparity that there's discrimination. Now redlining, I did my research on redlining. There is no unequivocal proof that the reason why loans were given or not given is just because people were black. So in theory, this is pretty much what it's supposed to be, that certain areas in our country, there was banks would not allow or they would not give certain loans to certain areas, right? Because of multitude of reasons, whether, whether it's a dangerous area, they wouldn't give mortgages to dangerous areas, areas that are run down, all of the above. And just so happened in some of these areas, they were minority areas. Now, people take that and say is the banks were racist. But if you look at the institutions, the bank institutions, if they had higher qualifications or unrealistic qualifications for black people, unlike white people, then you would see that the, um, the rate of not being able to pay your loan, right? If, you, if you, the defaulting on your loan and different things like that, you would see it being higher amongst whites and not blacks if they had extra qualifications for blacks. And that's not what happened. Now, I don't know if it was racist or not. I don't believe that it was because I don't believe there's a correlation. Look at the black banks and look at the white banks. Black banks rejected black people at the same rate or higher than white banks did. Where's the correlation? You know, where's the, the outcry on that? And so moving forward, the idea from one side says that they were black. On another side, they had ramifications for people not taking care of their communities, not having good credit and, and the like. So you have the two factions that have a difference of opinion. And you, you, you go to move forward and you say, how does redlining affect black people today? You know, I grew up in a black neighborhood and many people who talk about this subject have never lived in a black neighborhood. It's not about redlining that I saw or anything that had anything to do with the government, the reason why black communities were suffering so much. It was culture and personal responsibility. There's no law that makes you not graduate from high school. That's a personal decision. There's no government law that thrusts you into selling drugs in your community. That's a personal decision. Unfortunately, black people, in my opinion, in these inner cities have adopted this culture that's destructive. And this has really no relevance. Now, let me give you an example of how I think that the overcorrection of what they call redlining, and this is what they do every time, caused the crash of the market. Because in, I guess, protests to redlining, they now gave non-discriminate loans to people who did not qualify. And what happened? We had a whole crash of the system. Black people were not defaulting on their loans at a higher rate than we've ever seen in history. And that's because they focus on race and we should be focusing on results. If you don't have a high credit score, you should not be able to get a particular loan. There's a lot of other things that are factored into this. Larry Elder wrote a really good piece. Tommy Sowell obviously wrote a really good piece. They both are very similar in their thought process here. They don't, they don't answer a lot of questions that go along with the behaviors of different people, right? They go, well, they give loans to white people at a, higher, at a better interest rate than they give to black people. What they don't ask the question of is that, are they equal in their financial situation? If you look at statistical data, white people have 30% more savings than black people do. When you go to get a loan, if you know anything about loans, they look at how much liquid funds you have. They look at what you have in your savings. People don't, people truly don't understand that. I, 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 seriously, people don't understand this. When you go, at it, bro, anything in life is going to always be a personal decision. I done came across so many black people that told me, bro, it, it all starts with, uh, they was like, um, we don't have enough resources and things like that to understand the knowledge that white people have. I'm like, bro, do you not see all the internet, all the books you can go ahead and buy? You, We have the same resources that white people have. It's just that we're too lazy to go pick up a book. You you, you know the saying, uh, it, it was a, it's, a, it's an older saying, uh, if you want to keep something from a, a ninja, put it in a book. S seriously, just pick up a book and read on the things that you want to know about. We can have the same knowledge as white people. We can, we can teach our kids about savings, but we don't. I, our children go get jobs and they blow it on Jordans and blow it on all type of stuff. Bro, I done said this in a couple videos down, like a couple videos or probably a year, months ago. I said, it's funny to me how you go on Walmart and you see, you, you see all these uh, black people shopping at Walmart for these expensive items. 
when you can go to Aldi's and get the same thing for a cheaper price. And you know what's funny? I go to Aldi's. I go to Aldi's now, and I'm not ashamed to say that. I go to Aldi's because it's cheaper. But I see nothing but the white folks in there. I see nothing but the white folks in there. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like black people, we love to just spin, 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 spin. And then we always blame it on the white people, the reason why we're the way that we are. But we, instead of putting $200, $500 into a savings account, we go spend that on Jordans. Instead of putting uh, $1,000, $2,000 into a savings account, we go spend that on Christian Dior. We go spend it on all these unnecessary brands that ain't doing nothing for us. But then we always turn it back around. Instead of worrying about ourselves and taking accountability for our own actions, we go ahead and say, the white man did this, and the white man did that. They put drugs in our neighborhoods. They put, okay, let's say they put drugs in the neighborhoods. It's a personal choice to either take the drugs, and it's a personal choice to either go sell the drugs. Everything is literally a personal choice. Nobody has a gun to your head and say, hey, you better sell these drugs. You better do this. You better, like, nobody has a gun to your head and tell you to do any of these things. Any of these things. Once we learn how, once we learn, and I'm being honest, once we learn how the white people moving, we will start moving the same way. But we're so against them, they not worried about us, but we so worried about them. That's why I brought up the whole Walmart and the Aldi situation. Once we start realizing that, dang, they got these big houses, they they owning all these businesses as the as, as society say, like black people not owning businesses, but it's a lot of black people owning businesses, a lot of white people owning businesses. But they got all these different things. They got these big houses. They got to because white people know how to save money. White people know how to save money. Meanwhile, we just blowing it all on Walmart when we literally get the same exact things, probably a little cheaper, probably a little off-brand things, but it doesn't matter. They still the same items. I ain't gonna lie, some off-brand things I just wouldn't get. I like a particular garlic bread. I don't like Great Value garlic bread. I, I just don't. It don't taste like garlic bread. It tastes like bread with cheese. And I feel like garlic bread tastes a little bit different. But anyway, that's, that's besides the point. We, let, let me finish the video. Let me finish it because I'll go on and on and on talking about this whole situation. Let me just finish the video. They look at how much money you make. And then you have to negotiate. Are black people negotiating to get a better interest rate? Or are they just taking the first thing that they get? Mm. All of these things are questions that need to be answered before you articulate that redlining is the problem and the banks are discriminated against black folks. Man, come on, man. Come on, Tatum. Come on, Tatum. Talk to me. Talk to me, Tatum. Talk to me. You, that is exactly true. Some, and it's not every black person, but a lot of black people take the first thing they get. You know what I'm saying? The first thing they see, they take it. You feel me? You got to start to know how to negotiate. You feel me? A lot of white people, they know how to negotiate. You know what I'm saying? They know how to negotiate certain things to get to get where to get a, to a certain price. They know how to negotiate. You got a lot of you got a lot of black people who don't know how to negotiate. You know what I'm saying? They they get a car and they car no mad high, but they're not negotiating with the dealer to say, hey, look, woo woo woo, this and that. I could drop this. Like they're not negotiating. You know what I'm saying? It's all about negotiation. Like I I just feel like we need to stop blaming other other races for our actions and focus on us. Because at the end of the day, bro, everything is a personal choice. I don't care what nobody say. The white man ain't making you do anything. The only thing we all got to do is pay taxes. That's the only thing we all got to do. It's not just black people got to pay taxes. No, 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 We all got to pay taxes. The more you make, the more they take. That That's for everybody. That's for every single race. It doesn't matter what race you are. You know what I'm saying? The more You can't say black people pay more taxes than white people because, no, if you make more as a black person, you're going to be paying more if you, or you're going to be on, uh, on back more. You feel me? And if you um, make more as a white person, you want to be on back more too. So it doesn't matter. It, it both go both ways. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no uh, size there. It, it just go both ways. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video, man. Shout out to Officer Tatum once again. Okay, this man been killing him, bro. I mean, I, I love Officer Tatum, man. Shout out to him once again, bro. Hope you guys enjoy y'all weekend. Uh, it's me, your boy, the Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.